looking at a new age. Mentally, I am stronger than ever. Everybody knows that I like to have fun, right? But if there's one thing, one thing that I like more, it's winning. Primetime television. And his opponent from Dallas, Texas, weighing in at 275 pounds, Matt Archer! Six foot seven, raised by the simple rider. How many tireless nights he spends trying to put together these spectacular cards for FCW TV? Well, he's got his own show on ECW. I know, I understand that, but, but you know, general manager at FCW is a little more important to me than what he's doing on ECW right now. Well, the guy knows how to budget his time perfectly, and you know, we see that each and every week here on FCW. All right now, Justin Angel uh, locking horns or trying to with Vance Archer, who clearly has the strength and power advantage. Using it to his advantage, right? Like, oh, oh, look at this, got him. That's a give me up. That's an uncle. That's a say uncle move right there. I've never seen that before. Yeah, that's a well. That's a that's a that's when you say uncle. You know what I mean? When you're a kid and somebody had you and uh, by the way, say uncle. I never said uncle, but I understand. Justin A, only South African athlete in FCW, brings such a such a unique hybrid uh, uh, of, of a style. With him to the ring, which you just saw taken down Vance Archer, which is a wise strategy. You got a guy who's six foot seven, you gotta take him off his feet. You know, when you look at uh, you know all of our uh, uh, great shows around the state of Florida, and, and I've been around the, a few of them, we see him like you know, come in the parking lot. I mean, there are some girls, man, I mean, they're just screaming like he's Elvis or something. I mean, they just, uh, I thought I was good looking. But, uh, you, you are good looking. I know I am pretty so much, and you are too. Uh -huh. Yes. Well, Angel really uh, has his own uh, style, not just in the ring, but outside the ring. Yes, he does. He's a stylish man. But the big Van Sarcher, uh, he's one of the guys that also wants one thing. Both these guys do. Let's become Florida the heavyweight champion. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Archer just caught oh. Angel mid-air. Gosh. Man, I'm a, I, you know, I'm a little, I, you know, Archer been making this, this move that he did tonight. He's got to have a plan. You've been around him. You've got to have a plan. I mean, you know, when you take, watch out, cover my Archer. When you go on record and saying the cabinet's going to take care of this next week, and then you get here and you make this plan, it's like a football coach. Oh, well, he's been in, yeah, he's been in there on the whiteboard, and he's drawing up these plays, and he's told the cabinet, listen, he's standing by my team at any time. You never know about him. But he understands one thing. He cannot win the, the championship by getting disqualified or getting counted out or anything. So I guess he's just... Uh, uh, you know, really determined to find out, uh, you know, what Alex Riley really, really got. And, you know, I feel bad for Beverly. She got, she got, like, run out of the meeting. She well, got, it's like you when you come in the meeting. She got run out of the meeting. Uh, wait a minute, I don't know what that's supposed to mean, but hey. You know, whatever's going on between Alex Riley and Beverly or Courtney or... Followed by Ace only, get Archer now. Whatever's going on with that situation, I don't know, but I do know is that Abraham Washington's, again, Abraham Washington's cabinet is a very well-oiled machine, and so is his decision-making and, and, and especially matchmaking process. And therefore, whatever plan he has You're for me. Tyler Rex, okay. like again, whatever plan he has for Tyler Rex, I guarantee you will be a must-see. That's all I can say. So you are a member of the cabinet. No, you, you're not, right? So I don't, you can't well, jump up here and I don't, I don't, do need, something. I don't need to be a member because, again, Abraham and I are good friends. We, we play ping pong on the weekends. Well, me and Rosa Mendes are good friends. You guys play ping pong? Well, I, I, maybe not, see? Yeah, well, no. No, I was getting ready to say that. Yeah, I can't answer that. 
I'm not, I don't want to brag to you, but I'm just saying, Abraham and I have a very close buddy buddy relationship. Did you say buddy buddy or buddy buddy? Oh, okay. No? I can give him a high five. He gives me a high five. I got you. Hang out. Oh, my. Justin Angel. It's going to be a big step up for Vance Archer to get a victory here. Got to work on this. Cover again. Vance Archer, again, when you're in there with a guy whose sole focus is to, to put it into your dreams, to make something bad happen to you, well, that's a scary situation. Well, he's a scary man, Vance Archer. That he is. You know what? I talked to him. Uh, and, uh, you know, a little, a little uh, development here in his character. I've had some talks with him, you know, and he seems like a pretty decent guy. Something happens when the bell rings, obviously, he becomes a, a violent man. Uh, his victory is uh, sometimes a cut, but uh, he's been on the victory road right here. So it's, uh, this for Justin Angel is huge. He could be all over, over right now. Well, yeah, you speak of uh, Archer. Here's an interesting fact that I managed to find out. Vance Archer once actually competed on a dating show. He was eliminated, however, and thus that did very little for uh, his attitude and his aggression. He was on a dating show, and he got eliminated. Yes. So, uh, I guess maybe... Well, what was he dating? Uh, I, I, didn't, I didn't ask. He didn't want to. He seemed bothered by the topic. Well, so. I've seen all the dating shows in the morning when I used to watch soap opera. You watch soap opera? I used to be a big fan of uh, General Hospital. Gotten like... Gotten like... Oh, sorry. Well, the point is, here's a guy... Rosamund is a fan in herself over there. Oh, wow. Well, Would you look at that shot? Focus on the match, stream. The match. Oh. You can't. Vance Archer, nonetheless, regardless of uh, his outside activities, is a very vicious individual inside that ring. And Justin Angel continuing to find out firsthand. Did you see how hard he hit that? Well, he hit, he hit it so hard. He hit it so hard, part of his trunk come out. Oh, oh, I look at this. Watch yeah. out again. Yeah. Well, Justin Angel got a blowout in his in his tights, oh. in his uh, uh, repertoire, right down there by his repertoire. He got a blowout in his costume. I guess that would be a slight wardrobe malfunction. Archer missing that leg drop. Justin Angel just trying to shake off the cobwebs and trying to find some way to combat this offense. Well, but, but Angel come right back with a combatant part right there. Oh, oh man. Swift kick, good kick, Target. solid kick. Wow. Oh, my gosh, rocking Archer. Justin Angel. Nice move. Down. Watch the leg. Oh, I thought he had him, didn't you? Uh, I thought he did. Justin Angel has proven time and time again whether it's. Did you, have you ever come out of your drawers? Like, well, <laughs> like, like <laughs> not, not like that. Well, let's hope this doesn't happen here, man. We got uh, costume uh, malfunction. Oh, we do have. Oh, my. <laughs> Well, Vance Archer needs to go ahead and, and, and put him away. I'm telling you. I, I, I think he it. is. I think he's doing it. Whoa! Again. I think Vance Archer's doing everything he can to put Justin well, Angel away. I think, and, and, and yet, yeah, I, I hate to keep saying that about the draw, but, I mean, it, it just, sometimes they get wadded up in the wrong spot and, and you can't maneuver. You can't do stuff. I'm not giving the excuse, but, uh, uh, oh, am I? Well, I'll tell you what, Vance Archer could care less about the man's draws yeah. right now. He's looking Don't at say it. that. You can't say that, D.B. Well, he doesn't. Right, he come. Got him up. Dangerous place here. Archer on the second rope. Angel there with him, pounding away, trying to get the advantage. Drapes the neck over the top rope. And a kick. And hear that kick to the Watch top out. of the head. Watch Angel out. Watch out. He's going to fly. It is over. There is no way I'm going to have you screw this up for me. All right? I, I don't know how to say this. You're, you're dead weight. You're a six-toe. Maybe I do know how to say it. Anyway, it is over. 
okay? And don't bother coming by the house, because I've already moved your stuff out of there. That's it. Serious? <laughs> I know how you feel. I mean, my, my mom kicked me out of the house once. I was on the streets for... Your mom? My face. Your mom? Yeah.